This is an individual reading. Let's see what we have for you today. What is the message today? We have some uh, debauchery happening in your life. Mm -hmm. Something needs to end, you know, there's something you need to begin, you know, every time we'll come here, you need to do something hard, there might be some destruction here, break out of this oppression, it's a very light, violet energy happening here, though, which I like. Light. There's the Prince of Cups, Ten of Wands, Three of Wands, and Seven of Cups. The Ten of Swords, the Ten of Wands, and the Three of Swords, the Three of Wands. <clears throat> Interesting uh, number lineups we have here. Uh, something, there's a strong message obviously you know, um, happening here. Um, <sighs> Not the best energy, but this Prince of Cups is here and you know the three of wands is also you know like a turn around the bend for the better oh boy though with this all the tens meaning you know you're kind of at the end of your road with all this oppression ruin sorrow you know maybe you've been going down a um a difficult path at the moment um but it seems as that you know, all this debauchery, all the oppression that you've been feeling, maybe you haven't been able to pay your bills, or maybe you just haven't been able to speak your mind. You know, maybe there's a lot of things that, that have been ruined um, within your life. Maybe you lost a job. Maybe a relationship ended. Um, some kind of health scare. Um, what I see here. Is that this man <clears throat> of love, though, someone that has true love for you, is coming forward um, to you uh, amongst the rubble, right? Um, they're tired of keeping their feelings in, you know, they're kind of at their wit's end with keeping their feelings inside. The Ten of Swords are just like, oh, I just want to let it out, you know, I just want to say what's on my mind, I want to be free with my words, um, you know, and, you know, the Prince of Cups in this kind of, you know, Ten of Swords energy, you know, he's kind of just, he wants to just share it with you. He's tired of waiting. And it's interesting, we have the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. You know, maybe there's been a lot of hold back, you know, a lot of repression on his part um, to come forward to you and kind of tell you how he feels or tell you that he wants some sort of thing with you. Um, even though he feels like, you know, there's a lot of good things that can happen between the two of you, and that's why he kind of wants to see this new horizon with you. He wants to walk down this new path with you, you know, um, to grow, a, you know, a violet flower uh, amongst, you know, a, um, a, a ground that's, you know, uh, you know, with dry, dryness, um, lack of love, lack of water. 
This Prince of Cups wants to come in with his water um, and his cups and I want to share some new warm feelings with you, you know, like a warm pool, you know, that kind of uh, melting feeling where it just encapsulates you and it just instantly relaxes you. That's what true really love is. It's not this excitement, even though there is a lot of excitement, um, but it's like this groundedness, you know, this solidarity between the two of you. That's what I feel that love is, right? And this Prince of Cups wants to come in and kind of express these feelings towards you, to you, um, even if there's a lot of things happening, even if <laughs> this card will not stop coming out. <laughs> these cards. <laughs> yeah, so look at this. So we have the Prince of Cups. Threes and tens and sevens. So weird. We have the three of cups now and the seven of wands. You've had your heart broken in the past with the seven of cups. You know, you're kind of still healing from this at this time. You know, you believe in there's, you know, a future for you in love. You're not really, like, looking towards that right now, even though you're growing like a beautiful flower that you are amongst the debauchery. You still grow. The scorpions are beautiful like that. Um, they'll grow in, the, you know, in a circumstance that is completely um, against them, or against all odds, right? Um, and there's been a lot of oppression <clears throat> you've been feeling with work as well, you know, uh, things just haven't been working in your favor, you know, maybe you've had, you're going through heartache and job loss at the same time. You feel oppressed, you know, your, your, your bills are weighing you down, your heart is heavy, you just feel weighed down. However, there is some sort of Prince of Cups, you know, around you um, that is looking at you and seeing you and of course some sort of virtuous, you know, figure and woman, and he has a lot of love to give you, you know, a lot of true love, a lot of emotional love, and a lot of lusty love, um, uh, he's tired of, of, of holding it in, he's tired of not sharing his feelings with you, he wants to kind of, like, put the past behind, <sighs> you know, I guess talk about what whatever negative things are happening between you, but he has you on his mind and he's, he can't get you out of his mind. He's really into you and he's just tired of not saying anything. Obviously he sees, you know, some sort of future with you with the three of cups again. <laughs> um, you know, he sees abundance, he sees a family, he sees, you know, maybe a marriage or partnership, uh, some, somehow where you guys come together and you create a waterfall of love, emotion, success possible babies, right? Um, you might not feel like you're actually ready for love at this time, you know? Um, you've gone through a lot of stuff lately. You're kind of sorrowful, you're kind of moping around, and it's time to get out of it. Um, you know, you have to put a timeline on your suffering or your grieving towards things. Um, but you're, you know, w with this spread, it's not going to last long, I see. Um, this man is going to come forward and give you some sort of message because he's tired of waiting. Um, he has, and you guys can kind of just get into the next level of life. The Seven of Wands, again, this card comes out. So the Seven of Wands, you know, is just saying, just go for it, right? You have to, you have to make the jump, you know, into the unknown sometimes, or like, towards something that you know that you can kind of make, but you're, you know, it's like, oh, I think I can do it, I'm just not sure, but I think I could try it, but, you know, and you go back and forth, just go for it, be positive, you know, um, the way that you envision the outcome to things, uh, weighs heavily on the productivity of what you're doing, you know, um, so be positive in what you want, you know, paint your life, it, be childish, be um, original, be creative in how you deal with you know, things that you're going through and how you're painting a future for yourself. And you could just let your imagination run wild, 
And maybe you do. <laughs> but maybe you don't. You know, if you can let your imagination run wild with anything, just let it go with anything. Anything you ever desire. You have to say it out loud even. What would it say to you? Scorpio, I'm coming out. You know, so Scorpio's here. Um There's been a lot of changes lately. You know, a lot of bad changes. You know, you think it's bad changes. It's kind of like one of these moments where everything bad is happening at once to you. But you know, don't let it don't let it hurt you too much because there's a lot. There's the three of wands and the three of cups happening here. I must look at what pops out. Oh come on! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, we have the ace of cups that pops out. So there's new love with the Prince of Cups and the Ace of Cups coming in. The Prince of Cups wants to give you a message, for sure. He definitely wants to um, relay a message to you of love. He wants, he wants it. He wants to tell you about it. He really does. Um, maybe he knows that you're not ready. Maybe he sees you going through this kind of sorrowful grieving uh, period in your life and maybe he thinks it's too fast uh, for you. But with this Ace of Cups, I think he's tired of waiting. You know, uh, you know, this Ace of Cups is new love coming in. Uh, you know, he he's coming for you um, in more ways than one. And um, he's just tired of having you on his mind constantly. And, you know, like, just can't, not having, not being able to do anything about it. Um, he wants to be able to do something about it now. Because he does see the abundance with you. He does see love and family and a future. And, um, you know, the Three of Cups, the Three of Wands. Oh my goodness. The Seven of Cups, the Seven of Wands. We also have the Three of Swords. We have Three, 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 Seven, Seven, Ten, Ten. And then we have the Two. So there's a lot of like yin yang energy here, um, you know, it's kind of like shaky grounds in a sense, I'm, I'm getting in a sense where this Prince of Cups wants to come forward to you really, really bad. Um, he's really tired of waiting or trying to find the right moment, let's say, um, but he can't take it anymore, so he, he just wants to come forward. He, does, he sees you kind of going through this kind of episode. Uh, for whatever reason, there's some sort of problems happening, but he sees this abundance with you, and so he has so much new love. There's new love. There's the Prince of Cups. There's the Two of Cups. We have the Ace of Cups. Again, that these individual readings are being inundated by love readings, but it is what it is. This is what's happening. Um, obviously, there's like this pull, though, between brand new love and bright, beautiful love and death, sorrow, um, ruin, you know, cruelty, there's a lot of things that you're feeling for him at the same time. Maybe he thinks he can come in and kind of bully you. But he sees you as a hurt bird, I think. And, you know, he sees correctly, but he, he doesn't care. He wants to just come in now. He's just tired of waiting. He just wants to go. I'll just do one more card again. Yeah, this is an individual reading <laughs> to clarify <laughs> what is happening with you. Yeah. This is the last card. <laughs> of course, everything's matching tonight, so of course it would end with the Ace of Wands. Lots of new opportunity, new love, real love, true love from this Prince of Cups. Not messing around kind of love, like really non un unquestionable kind of love. And you know, when, when someone is confused about um, someone that they're dating or talking to and they're confused, you know, that's automatically a sign of no. But we as humans are, we just want it to work so badly sometimes that we rationalize and rationalize why, you know, these red flags are popping up. Um, but you have to just realize that It's easy when it's true. 
you know, the truth feels different than kind of, you know, shady behavior, you know, or if you feel off, you you know, whatever it is that you might feel, you know, you can feel it when someone's being off with you, right? So, when it's true love, you'll know, and it's going to be so comforting and solid. Um, and there's, apparently there's a new, there's a lot of new opportunities, maybe with work as well, but there's love, there's a lot of love, a lot of different types of love happening here, okay, um, love, lust, work, um, maybe getting over your past and starting new, starting a family together, turning a new bend, starting a new love together, and maybe, you know, this is the, your last, you know, new love in a sense. Maybe this is actually the person that you're supposed to be with um, coming through, you know, in a sense where the Two of Cups is really the signifier of like true, true, you know, this is like I'll die for you love, this is forever love kind of feeling. Um, so again, with these readings, these individual readings, with the end date of the love messages, um, this Prince of Cups is not messing around. Um, he's coming for you, um, so, you know, be kind to people that, you know, open up to you, uh, even if you can't stand them, <laughs> and just be kind, because it takes a lot of, you know, um, it takes a lot of courage to come forward, especially with people's feelings, so if you are a woman, and you are receiving love, and you are the approver of love or not, be kind to people, um, whether or not you approve of their love or not, um, but I see that this man, um, you might thoroughly enjoy. <laughs> so that's not going to be an issue here for you, but you know, there's a lot of things that are changing for you and just hold on because sometimes when a lot of bad things happen all at once, you know, um, one day you wake up and you realize that everything is new and everything is fresh and beautiful actually because of its newness. You know, every little detail that you once loathed is gone. And even though you might be jittery about the future, you can actually be rest assured about the present moment, and right now it's better. You know, sometimes bad changes need to happen because it's like God ripping off a band-aid for you. You know, if you're not listening to the messages, you know, <laughs> you might get a, you know, like a slap on the wrist, you know, uh, by, you know, spirit, or you might, you know, get louder and louder messages until if you keep ignoring it, then, you know, things might happen, you know, but listen to your gut. Um, and, you know, I see something really good happening, even amongst all the suppression that you've been going through, you know, this, I think the sun is setting, the sun has set, and now it's rising in your life, and, um, there's, there's a lot of newness happening, and it's good, so you're coming from a really dark place, and you're going forward in a really bright light, and this could, be, this really could be, um, a person that you actually, um, start something new with and something solid that lasts a lifetime.